and welcome back to Crush and Ag Connectors 101 in our training studio and we're going to continue our series today on Metropack and specifically we're going to dig into the Metropack 150 series. So per the other videos we're also going to continue on with a uh, quick review of the other parts you need to know about. So uh, there is a sealed and an unsealed version of the Metropack and the unsealed we'll cover later. We're going to put our focus on to the sealed versions, and that's what our, our audience is requesting. So what you need to know about Metropack, it, it seems to be overwhelming with all the different options. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're trying to identify the different types of Metropack, the 150 series has a 1.5 millimeter blade, the two, uh, 280 series has a 2.8 millimeter blade, and so on and so forth. In the sealed connections, there's going to be two types of connectors. There's going to be a pull to seat connector, which requires two pieces to make a connection and there's going to be the standard connectors in the sealed which is going to require four. We're going to cover the, one, the standard versions of the 150, the 280, 480, 630 and then both pull to seat versions of the 150.2 and the 630 series. Now breaking down the different series, uh, this is the 150 series with the plug and a receptacle and the 150.2 pull to seat connectors and you also got an example there of a, uh, a sensor the 280 series male and female the 480 male and female the 630 male and female and then the 630 potency both caps and male and female now as we dive into the 150 series there's going to be seven different types available in, in configurations there's a two three four five six eight and ten circuit configuration available and here we've got all the female sealed connectors with the corresponding TPA locks. With the 150 series, all the TPA locks are universal. There is no gender specificity with, with, those, with those connectors. Your female side is always gonna have a color identifier with the rib seal as well. On the male side, we've got the male connectors. Uh, they're always gonna require pins. And as you see, it's the same TPA lock as we found on the female version. Now on these standard 150 connections, it's going to require four total pieces to make a connection. We have the examples here on the screen, but you need a connector body, the wire seal, uh, an optional cavity plug seal if you're not going to put a wire in that cavity, a terminal or a contact, uh, whether it be a pin or a socket, and the TPA lock to keep the wires in the right places. So to make a female connection, what we need to be complete, we need a female or a plug. Uh, again, those have the colored seals around them. We have a you know, wire and a cable seal. Traditionally, we sell a, uh, a red seal with most of our kits. If you're using a smaller gauge wire or smaller coating, then you want to go with the 22 to 18. You want to make sure you got a good tight seal around that, that wire coating. And then again, in the female plug, uh, you need a socket for that connection. And again, the, there is no gender required for the TPA lock, so you just need uh, a TPA, TPA lock that corresponds with the number of circuits. On the male side, there's a receptacle body, uh, and those are always going to take pins, uh, pin contact, and then you're also going to need the wire seal just like with the other side, and again the TPA lock is going to be the same as it is on the female. As far as specifics with this series, the biggest things to know is it's a 14 amp max, and the Blade width is a 1.5, and uh, in, in reference to other series, the voltage drop can be a little bit higher in these as well. Uh, very common use underneath the hood of, a, of automobiles, uh, agriculture, uh, farm equipment, uh, anything that's going to carry CAN bus communication, ISO bus, or low power. And again, just remember this is a 1.5 millimeter blade when you're trying to identify them, but they are good uh, weatherproof connectors or weather resistant connectors, I should say. If this all seems pretty overwhelming, yeah, at Crush and Ag, we offer our connectors and kits as, to make things a little bit easier for you. We offer them as a Dash K kit, which has the female complete kit that's got the sockets and the plug and the, the lock and the seals, or you can get that as a male kit with the pins, of course. Uh, we also offer what we call a PRK or a plug receptacle kit, as we do with many of our connectors that has both sides you need to make a complete connection. And those are also available in the multi-pack as shown here, where you've got five plugs and uh, 
five receptacles, five pins, five sockets, 20 seals, and 10 TPA locks. So it kind of makes life a little bit easier. You have everything in one box. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Shoot us an email to info at crushingag.com. We're here to help. That's what we do. Look for more videos to come out soon. We've also got our 280 series available. Uh, we're going to do some on the 150.2, the 480, the 630, 630 series, both sealed and pull to seat. Then we're going to do some other videos on properly crimping the terminals and how to use the removal tools. As always, if you learned something, be sure to subscribe or share or like or all the above or drop us a comment and let us know what else you want to know about. You can always find us on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or here in the office. All right, we appreciate you. Thanks a lot. And as always, have a great day.